What are we doing today, wife? In 2021, we sold our home to explore the RV lifestyle in the world around us. Welcome, Welcome to, to Minimalish. Minimalish. Hi everybody, welcome to Minimalish. My name is Chris, this is my wife Courtney, and today we have some awesome, exciting adventures planned, which begs the question, what are we gonna do today, wife? We're gonna go see Bernie Falls. Yay! Yay! And also a lava tube. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out together. Yeah, come on, let's check it out. All right, we have arrived at Subway Cave. It is starting to rain a little bit, and I'm hoping to get some shots inside the cave with our handy dandy flashlight. We'll see what happens, but let's go check it out. This is Subway Cave. It's a one third mile walk to the back of the cave. It says take a good light or two and a jacket and follow the signs. Average cave temperature 46 degrees. For reference, it's about 70 degrees outside. This cave was formed from lava running through this area 30,000 years ago. Eventually the lava drained away, leaving the tube-like caves. Subway Cave is the largest accessible tube in the flow. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Let's go check it out. This is a picture of what to expect. Surrounded by beauty. Nice little um, paved trail. Obviously, for uh, those of us with mobility issues, um, depending on the severity of it, Subway Cave is not going to be accessible. Um, this trail is wheelchair accessible, <clears throat> but but it ends pretty quick at the stairs. So keep that in mind if you're planning to come out here. Um, it may or may not be for you. No pets, no food, no drinks, no smoking in the cave. Okay. I will not drink or smoke any pets in the cave, I promise. I like pets, that would be me. Look at all this lava rock here. Very cool looking. Good stuff. Has about a dozen steps to climb up. Courtney hates steps. And it also has rough paths, so watch it. some jagged rocks sticking up through the sand. And travel down this dirt path for just a little bit, you come to another set of stairs. And this set takes you down into the cave. Again, Courtney also does photography photography for our minimal underscore ish underscore yt uh, Instagram. So I'll link that in the description. That way we're catching this experience from all angles. So. And 
Have you ever been in a cave? Yeah. Awesome. I've been in one. It was this one many, many years ago. Came here with some friends. It was really cool. So the good news is it's not raining anymore. All right. We'll see how we can do with video. There's our shot back up. crazy dark and difficult to walk in here so um, I'll film when and where I can and I'll see what happens. Going across the map. Devil's doorway, stub toe hall. That's that's <laughs> exactly correct. Lucifer's cul-de-sac, sanctum room room and the sanctum. All the way to the end where there's an exit store stairway, so you don't have to uh, come back. You don't have to come back anymore. All the way through. And again, it's uh, one third of a mile, so. But, but it's definitely not handicap accessible. Uh, no, it's the floor is uneven. There's a lot of rock. Yeah, it's it's been difficult for me as an empty to walk in here, but I just have to watch my step and slow. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Let's see what we can find. portion of the cave gets its name from the slight breeze that you may be able to feel on your cheek. On the walls you can see the marks left behind the of the lava flows that pass from the cave. The first flow felt the same, the left the same high water mark on the wall about 12 inches from the roof. And the second flow the lava is cooler enough to more tightly line about 3 feet from the floor. about it so far it's dark but it's actually really cool yeah it's chilly too yes that's why they tell you to wear a coat <laughs> right it is a lot or not a, coat, but it's a lot chillier in here it's not it's not freezing cold by any means no no nice all right watch your head a little bit <laughs> i'm the five foot two person i don't have to watch my head. you do right here I don't know if you saw that. This whole thing protruding? Yes, I saw that. Okay, just making sure. So. Hold it on the wall. Right there. Yep. I have a question. Yes. When, when we get done with this, we want to go back to the beginning, leave all of our lights. No. <laughs> and walk <laughs> through this thing in, in the dark. In the no. dark and total silence. Nope. In a race to no. see who can get to the end first. Nope. Get a camera that works. Look at this hole. Well, that would require a see this? different lens. Hole here. I know. Sorry. I'm... Very neat. All right. We are in Lucifer's cul de sac. Yes. Sometimes short fingers of lava branched out from the main floor. This chamber was formed when the side stream of lava halted and returned to the main flow. Look at the long ridges on the floor. They are probably pressure ridges caused by compression in the lava floor. Flash your light to the ceiling. Do you see any sparkles? Tiny drops of water gleam like little jewels in the lantern light. 
This is percolating groundwater and the amount varies from the moisture in the ground above. Oh, I forgot to mention where this was. This is just outside of Old Station um, off of uh, 44 in Northern California near Lassen Volcanic National Park. And this particular uh, attraction is 100% free. They do have a donations tube, so I encourage you to uh, donate to help keep the upkeep of the um, walkways and stuff for this for many people to enjoy for many years to come because it is a really neat place. But again, this is near Lassen, Nas Lassen Volcanic National Park in Northern California, um, just 20 miles away from there. So come check it out if you're in that area. All right. So we have reached the end of the subway cave. Rough walk, but very informative and very cool. You feel like you're on, feel like you're, you're on another planet or something. Bad boy in me wants to check that out, but if I did, I wouldn't film it. I'd probably just leave it alone. I'm always like, okay, I'll walk where you want me to walk. But what about where you don't want me to walk? What secrets are you hiding? See, he wants to go walking where he shouldn't, but he won't let me. Uh, nope. That's, that's my role as a husband, not let her do fun stuff. I mean, yep. not let her do stuff that I think is dangerous. It's a lot warmer up here. We'll never know, because we're not allowed to just find out. So it says go this way. Here's our view.